You're going to edit a lot of this, right? Yes. <laughs> Am I supposed to be looking at you? Ready? I'm Casey Ketterhagen, lead stylist on the new 2012 Softail Slim. Um, some of the cues, I go through some of the cues that tie it back to the old, you know, the old 40s and 50s FLs, ELs, things like that. Are, you know, to me, a bike is all about proportion. And if, it's not only bikes about proportion, it's a, you know, everything in general. If you're looking at early hot rods, early customs, it's all about the proportion and how the bike looks and how everything plays together. So with this bike in particular, one of the things that we, I tried to do was get the, get the bike back narrow again in the back so that the motor looked proportionally big, you know, looks big in the frame. Um, over the years, I think soft tails have grown to the point where everything else got big around the motor, but the motor stayed the same size. With this bike, I'm trying to really look back at historical bikes and tie, you know, that try to get that proportion back dialed into where they were in the, you know, in the 40s and 50s. And you'll see retro cues throughout the bike that tie it back to that era. Um, for one, was being this kind of handlebar with a crossbar. Um, the early Harleys, they were called Hollywood handlebars, and that was an aftermarket bar. I'm not really too sure on the whole history, but I think it was a bar that allowed people to put accessories, attach accessories to it. <clears throat> a lot of the early you know, police bikes and stuff like that, they'd attach lights and different types of things, but that crossbar was basically the same diameter as this bar, which on this one was inspired by more of like a, a dirt bike bar or a, you know, a BMX even, like a 90s BMX bar, just to give you a different look from a rider's perspective. Some of the other cues are that date back to retro or kind of this cat eye style gate, this cat eye style console. Um, this isn't a new part for us, but it's uh, a part that fits really well on this bike. Um, a real minimal tank strap is new with kind of a kind of formed shape, real simple and clean, and that brings your eye right to the seat, which is the same texture on the outside. The inner panel of the seat is um, reminiscent of an early bait style tuck and roll type of seat. Um, it just gives it a you know really custom look for an you know for an OE seat it really looks really looks custom. The biggest part of the bike for me paint wise is usually the tank, that's the billboard of the bike here. Here you have this forged aluminum uh, medallion on the tank, on the sweet spot of the tank. Real simple. And the idea behind this bike being that way is it's kind of a really clean, simple canvas where you could take either way. You could, you know, it's, it's really minimal right now, but you could go, go to the opposite and add a lot of P&A parts, or you could actually strip more parts off it. Um, I wanted to keep the bike really pure and all just, you know, about hardware. You see all the mechanical stuff. I mean, that's pretty common on Harleys and motorcycles in general is the mechanicals are all visual, so those all have to play together in harmony with all the other pieces around it. I don't, there's a, there's a view, it's called something, I can't think of it right now. You know what it's called? It's still rolling. The name Slim is derived out more than likely because of the the slim and narrowness of the rear end. Um, bikes back in the back in the day were were narrow, and you know the motor and the primary were the predominant features. And the you know the fender in direct proportion to the tank. I'm going to talk about proportions again, but direct proportion to the tank. The biggest amount of paint is usually on the on the tank, and that tapered line brings you back into this slim rear fender and slim rear end together all the proportions really kind of a make 2012 soft tail slim a simple small easy nimble bike to to ride